Samsung is about to shake things up with the Galaxy S25 series. And if the latest leaks are anything to go by, we're in for some exciting innovations. Let's dive into what's creating the buzz, the possibility of magnetic cases and Qi2 wireless charging. But before we get into the juicy details, let me remind you to join our membership for exclusive insights and updates. Link is in the description. Earlier this week, speculation about Qi2 wireless charging on the Galaxy S25 stirred interest. But it wasn't immediately clear if Samsung would embrace the Magnetic Power Profile, or MPP, which is a game-changer for magnetic alignment with accessories. Now it looks like they're all in, as new leaks suggest that Samsung is developing official magnetic cases for the Galaxy S25 lineup. A Finnish smartphone retailer might have accidentally let the cat out of the bag. They reportedly posted details about not just the color options for the Galaxy S25 series, but also all the official accessories Samsung plans to launch. Among these, the spotlight is on the magnetic cases designed for the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra. These cases are said to be transparent and are tailored to work seamlessly with Qi2 compatible wireless chargers. These magnetic cases are more than just stylish protection. They could revolutionize how you use accessories like wallets, power banks, and even pop grips. Qi2 incorporates Apple's MagSafe technology into its magnetic power profile. However, it's worth noting that Qi2 certification doesn't mandate MPP, so brands can skip this feature and still comply with Qi2 standards. But Samsung seems to be betting on the convenience and versatility of magnetic alignment, which could make their accessories a cut above the rest. In addition to the magnetic cases, Samsung reportedly plans to launch an array of official covers for the Galaxy S25 series. These include clear cases, rugged cases, silicone cases in vibrant shades like mint and red, and even standing grip cases in multiple colors. Interestingly, the Kind Suit case, which has so far been exclusive to the Galaxy Z foldable phones, might make its debut for the Galaxy S series with this launch. On the storage front, there's something for everyone. The Galaxy S25 will reportedly come in 128GB and 256GB variants, while the Galaxy S25 Plus will step it up with 256GB and 512GB options. For the power users, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could go all the way to 1TB, with 256GB and 512GB configurations also available. It's clear that Samsung is giving its fans plenty of choices, whether they're looking for storage, style, or next-level tech. The potential inclusion of MPP-compatible accessories signals Samsung's growing focus on expanding its ecosystem. Magnetic cases and Qi2 wireless charging could simplify how we interact with smartphones daily, bridging the gap between convenience and innovation. Imagine seamlessly snapping on accessories without fiddling with alignment. Samsung might just make that a reality. If you're as excited as we are about these updates, don't forget to join our membership for insider scoops. Link is in the description. We'll keep you posted on all the latest tech trends, leaks, and official announcements. So as we gear up for the Galaxy S25 series launch, there's a lot to look forward to. Transparent magnetic cases, a diverse range of covers, and robust storage options are only scratching the surface of what these phones might offer. And if Samsung delivers on these promises, it could redefine the Galaxy S experience. Before you go, let me leave you with this. Are you ready to embrace the next wave of smartphone accessories? Share your thoughts in the comments. And of course, to stay ahead of the curve, join our membership today. Link is in the description. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Take care and happy exploring. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, 
making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, 
and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.